Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to have Marlene back with us again after the success of our first video. So today we're going to be showing you guys this traditional Pakistani look and the outfit is by Pre Relux and jewellery by NK Collection and I hope you guys enjoy this look but before you go please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. So we're going to prep Marlene's eyes with MAC Paint Pot in Laying Low. This is going to create a really good base for her eyeshadow. Okay, so just over both eyes. Okay, and we're going to repeat the same step underneath her eyes as well. So for the look today, I'm going to use um, this as a base. This is a Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow and this is in Naked Bronze. So it comes with a cream shadow underneath and a gold foiled glitter topper. But we're just going to use the bronze side as a base. Okay, so I want to give the eyes a really nice bronzy, smoky effect. It's going to really create that base for me. Let's take a clean blending brush and we're just going to soften the lines. Okay, so this is purely as a key for us to build the rest of our colours. So to highlight the eyes, I'm going to use a MAC pigment and this is in Jardin Airs. I'm just going to use a little bit of pigment on the inner corners. Okay and just under the brow bone. Okay, I'm just going to lighten the inner corners a bit more with MAC Shroom Eyeshadow. So the palette of choice today is a Morphe 35F palette and this is a really good palette to use for any bridal looks you've got because it kind of covers every moment within a bridal look. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadow called Illusion. Okay, and I'm just gonna put this very lightly in the socket. This is barely visual, okay? Just our transition colour. So now I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of Fortune from the palette. It's a really nice warm reddish brown. I'm going to concentrate this just on the outer corners. Okay, so I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush and we're just going to soften over all of our lines. So for the lid colour, I'm going to pick up honeycomb and chiffon and we are just going to press this all the way along the lash line. So I'm going to keep adding my transition colour and the gold and build it until I'm happy with it and then we're going to emphasise the outer corners. So one of my other um, palettes that I really like for bridal looks is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. So this has got a lot of, um, you can see how well loved it is, a lot of warm tones, a few natural tones and a really nice gold. So I'm just going to pick up this burgundy shade and this purple shade. I'm just going to shade the outer corners. Okay, so what we're going to do is add a little bit of depth to the outer corners. Now you don't always have to use a burgundy plum tone, you can use a brown or any colour of your choice. Okay, and we're just going to blend this into the socket. Now adding black to a bridal look sometimes can be quite scary but I like to add just a slight touch of it. Okay, I like to take a little bit off in the back of my hand and we just bring this up and along the lash line. So at this stage, what I like to do is I'm going to map out my eyeliner. 
So for this, we're gonna use just a card draw pencil. Okay, and I like to first bring this down and under the eye. I'm gonna repeat it on the other side. Like so. And then we're gonna use a small pencil brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow. And we're just gonna smudge this in towards the front of the eye. Okay, and we're gonna do the same on the top. So we're gonna just lift very slightly, line the eyes. And we're just gonna use a little bit of black again and we're just going to smudge this towards the front of the eye. Okay, I'm going to repeat this on the other eye. I'm just going to add a very small highlight towards the front of the eye and to do this I'm going to use MAC Vanilla Pigment. So the lashes I'm going to use, I'm going to double them just because I like to get that full effect for a bridal look. So I'm going to use a slightly thicker pair, this is in the style 101 and the other one I'm going to use is by a brand called Top Lash and that is in the style D6. So you can see a slightly thicker lash, so what I like to do is start from the outside press this in okay and then we're just going to apply the lash Again, on the same side, dropping it onto the lash line. Press it in, and in. There we go. So we have cleaned up Marlene's under eyes with a cleansing wipe, and we have applied the Tom Ford primer in um, pink glow. So under Marlene's eyes, we just added a little bit of a diva. Uh, this is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Okay, and this is just going to pick up with the tone of the outfit. So it's going to complement it rather than compete against it. So the choice of foundation today is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter and this is in the shade Butter Pecan. So the closest shade, if you are a MAC foundation, is NC35 to this one. So the way I like to use this is just off my stainless steel palette. And I like to apply this with a flat foundation brush. Okay, and we're just going to work in areas and we're going to build up very thin layers. Then I like to use a slight duo fiber brush just to buff over areas like around the mouth, around the nose. Like so. So we're going to finish the whole face. So for concealer, we're going to use the Huda Beauty Over Achiever Concealer, and this is in the shade Sugar Biscuit. Okay, and I just like to dot the concealer onto the skin. Okay, and we're going to bring this down. kind of marry the eyeshadow to the concealer. Very important to let the concealer dry, okay, once you've blended it, because then you can kind of finesse the edges. Okay, I'm just gonna set Marlene's under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so we've got Marlene's skin all powdered and set, so now we're gonna contour. And to contour, I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless finished powder and this is actually the one she created for darker skins but the color three actually works really well as a contour on Asian skin tones to just uh, bring the cheeks in and we're just gonna follow this hollow here and for blush I'm gonna use a NARS blusher in orgasm if you just smile for me so I like to just have quite a natural flush for brides because everything else is so heavily worked. 
And to highlight, I'm going to use the Tom Ford Reflex Gilt, one of my favourite highlighters, because it's a pink, coppery tone and a gold shimmery tone. So I like to mix them both together. Okay, smile for me. So I like to bring the highlight on the apple of the cheek. So what I like to do is take a little bit of MAC Reflex Glitter and I really like MAC Reflex Pearl and we're just going to add a slight shimmer under the brow. Okay, so we're just going to line Marlene's lips and I'm going to go for a really full, bold burgundy lip. So what we're going to do is just smile for me. I like to have a really full pearl. So I'm going to underline on top, okay, and I'm going to overline underneath. Okay, and the lip colour of choice is by Morphe and it's a signature red liquid lip. And we're just going to apply this and cover our lip liner. Okay, and lastly, for a long lasting finish throughout the day, we're going to use a Touch Her Dewy Skin Mist just all over the face. And we're going to get Marlene's jewels on because no Indian bride is complete without her jewels, and we'll show you the finished look. Mm -hmm.